Hello friends, welcome to BioGuide once again. I'm happy to introduce another very interesting topic today. And today we will learn some more about the COVID vaccine, COVID-19 virus, how a patient who has developed antibodies against COVID-19 virus. So generally, we will first know today that was the basic feature in COVID-19 virus in the structure. We will know different parts within a protein present in this virus. And also we will know that if you or someone is infected and have survived from the infection where their antibodies will produce, and when future encounter will happen, which portions of the virus could be recognized by the antibodies which are already present in that human being after getting infected by the virus. So today's lecture is about antibodies targeting the spike protein. So this is our culprit coronavirus. The name corona, word means crown. So it looks like a crown-like appearance due to presence of certain important protein on its outer coating. So the important protein which is present and which gives this virus this characteristic crown-like appearance is the spike protein. So now today we will know that when antibodies will be produced. So antibodies are produced within a person if he gets infected by the virus. Suppose a human being gets infected by coronavirus, then against this virus, antibodies will be produced. Now the question is where? Which side of the virus would be used for producing antibodies? And if future encounter happens, which part of the virus would be recognized and it will be neutralized using those antibodies. So now this is the protein structure of the spike protein. It has many subunits, many domains, and altogether it's a 1273 amino acid long protein. So at the beginning from the left, you can see there is an N-terminal domain, there is receptor binding domain, there are S domain, there are HR, CD, and TM domain present. Among these particular sites, which sites make it more important? Since I'm showing you here the linear structure of the spike protein, you may assume or you can imagine that upon getting folded, some of these domains would be exposed in the outer surface of the spike protein, while some of them will be embedded within the spike protein. So let's see which of the parts already shown here can be recognized by our immune system and they can use those parts at the antigen and they can produce antibodies against them. So this is the three-dimensional structure of spike protein. Upon getting proper folding, it would get somewhat this type of structure. Now, once it gets this structure, getting specimens, getting plasma from the infected individuals, we can find there are three different sites of spike protein where the antibodies are being developed. And those are this site, this site, and this site. What are these sites? How can I recognize? These are all like some kind of more like structures. So how would we understand that which site determines what? So this site at the down portion showing the red yellow region is the S2 subunit. Many patients have developed via, uh, viral specific 
antibodies which can recognize this ACE2 subunit of the spike protein. Many infected individuals have developed particular antibodies against the N-terminal domain. And most of or in a more frequency, it has been also found that the antibodies are generated by the specification of the structure and the antigenic properties of receptive binding domain of the spike protein. So if you consider the spike protein as a prime zone to identify and recognize this virus, we can find that the entire spike protein also have several differences in their protein amino acid structures. So when the antibodies are being developed, then also it has been found that the entire spike protein might be used or the domains or the subunits of the spike protein can be used for making the antibodies. These, whatever we have discussed today, were not artificially induced antibodies. These were all the naturally produced antibodies which we have, which people have sampled, they have surveyed, they have tested, and it has been experimentally proven that by the natural infection of COVID-19 virus in some population, particularly in USA, they have developed antibodies against these three prime zones of the spike protein. Thank you very much for listening the video till the end. If you like my video, please hit the like button, share with your friends if you find this content good, and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you very much.